Hello there, a new day, but a sad one for me. And uh, you see the saga with my uh, solar install. It's uh, getting complicated somehow. Another panel from uh, this string of three just gave up. But big time, I can tell you, I show you right now. But the funny story is that I'm still having like 4.12 amps running. That's kind of good for this kind of weather. It's not uh, exactly clear sky. It's kind of mushy, cloudy, something. Okay, this, uh, this particular panel, let me show you. It's made by solar farm or I don't know, commercialized. Anyway, there's not a crack here, it's just the label. But let me show what's happening here. Look, so one of the connection from uh, one of the cells got really, really hot and even broke the plastic behind. Why I'm sad? Because this is the second one. I have another broke one here, exactly in the same spot, exactly in the same position, you see. This cell here, it's row number one, two, three, row number three here. So this is kind of funny. Uh, I really think this is a matter of uh, fabrication, robotization, all kind of uh, other stuff about their technology to put the things together. Because you see, is the second one exactly in the same position one two three look there let me stay in the shadow so i can show you much more clear effectively melting and i'm not sure what kind of uh, configuration are these panels they are advertised like simple string i don't know what that means i couldn't find any more information this is a replacement for the first one got uh, broke, kind of different uh, cells, but still powerful. What I can say, they are very nice because they don't take too much space. This one, by the way, 150 watts, very good panels, very strong panels. And the others, you see the dimensions are really different. Smaller guys, 180 watts. Of course, I like this system much more, but what can I do? It's looking like there's something wrong. So from the original three, I got this one still working. I'm waiting for another surprise. So far, it's working. Well, um, okay, so what I want to do next is to take some measurements to each panel block of diodes. It's very easy to take them out like this. And like this and we have we have two mains connections going down to the bottom with this line here but some intermediary something so these are uh, bypass diodes just want to measure those connections there to see what I can get multimeter on voltmeter and I have now, okay, the panel is working, so it's hooked up. So I have like 19 volts, 20 volts for the damaged one. Let me open the other one to see. So this is the good one. 21.6 volts. Here we have... 20.2 kind of slight oxidation but that doesn't affect anything but the point is that if we measure in between these elements I have a very very low uh, voltage so I'm not sure how these things are working 1.1 here first diode uh, 1.1 if we take the other side 2.1 2.3 and let's measure these guys 2.2 
2.4. Well, these are the same measurements. That's really interesting. Okay, let me short these panels. So the damage done, 20 amps short. And I have two, 3.3, around 3 amps. And the good one. Almost the same numbers. This is really funny. Okay, let me disconnect this from the inverter. I have a few strings in parallel, so that's not exactly a problem, you know, when disconnecting and connecting strings. All right, damage done, open circuit, and uh, shortcut uh, test. 6.4, pretty strong. Next. 6.1 so even with that damaged cell it's looking like we have a lot of amps I don't understand or maybe let's call it the good one it's presenting also a damaged cell but not showing let me measure the one down there which I know for sure it's good okay there we go yeah, 5.8. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, the same numbers. Amazing. Amazing. Well, I really don't understand. The point is that my whole power went down with at least 10%, 15%. It's a matter of uh, these damaged cells. So the string is back. In parallel with the other guys and I have five amps running to the inverter let me see the general output here evidently really strong cables 12.4 amps okay what I'm trying to say this panel here which uh, presenting the same symptoms even in the full sunshine there is no current but voltage okay so what's funny about these two panels like i said before the damage is in exactly the same sector you see down there number three left to right one two three number three left to right so this is a very clear mechanical problem or something anyway soldering and stuff like that now if i'm trying to to test this uh, damaged one okay let me have this out what is my multimeter oh there okay multimeter on voltage mode here is the output obviously if I'm trying to measure the voltage yeah I can have almost the, the voltage uh, you know supposedly to be 26 or something of course we are in the shadows down there but if we take it by the current no current at all nothing let me see on milliamps less than one milliamp i tried dig the connections a little bit you know I, I put some some uh, I scrapped the plastic here for uh, having a kind of contact nothing 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 all around that's kind of funny nothing absolutely nothing but if I'm checking for voltages nothing also let me try this connection here I have voltages at output but no current even if I'm checking some other connections so this panel it's absolutely dead all the internal connections are gone so there's nothing to do about can save anything and I really don't know if these are some internal connection if it if it's the plus bar here anyway I'm gonna check solar farm 
and ask them to send me the schematic for this uh, panels. It's strange, two panels from a total of three to get damaged exactly in the same positions. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope I will receive the replacement panels soon. They are still in the warranty. So far, stay away from solar farm. <laughs> that's my advice. Thank you and I hope it's useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and of course have fun. Bye bye.